Tears and searing questions about the death of 12 year old Leiden Boykins Friday morning. Listen, Granny, I'm on my way. I'm almost home. And he's going to come. Leiden Boykins' grandmother, Patricia Williams, and his parents, Tony Boykins and Anthony Boykins, certain state troopers could have saved Leiden's life. My son was in the car, and they knew it. His parents were in Michigan for a family funeral. Leiden's grandmother, watching Leiden at their Paulding County home, had given Leiden permission this past Thursday to help a close family friend, their neighbor Charles Moore, at his job, along with Moore's 14-year-old son, on the way home. The state patrol says troopers pulled Moore over for speeding, but that Moore then drove off, speeding again and driving erratically for three and a half miles down Highway 92 until troopers used a pit maneuver to stop him. Moore's car spun off the highway and flipped upside down. Leiden was killed. Moore and his son survived. Moore is in custody facing charges. The Boykins say it was Moore's wife who told them Leiden was killed and who told them that when troopers first pulled Moore over, Moore, who is black, had his son call 911. He told the 911 operator and he said, I need for y'all to get a supervisor out here. There's too many police cars and I'm in fear of my life. Leiden's father, Anthony, says troopers would have seen there were children in Moore's car and that he drove away while still on the 911 call. Did troopers think they were rescuing the two children in Moore's car and that the pit maneuver was the only way to do it? But they couldn't put a roadblock up and protect those kids. They couldn't figure out any other way than to flip that car over. Leiden's parents say no one in law enforcement has ever notified them he was killed. And now they say no one will tell them where Leiden's body is or when he'll be released to them. We are working to reach the state patrol to get answers to questions Leiden Boykin's heartbroken loved ones need now.